Welcome to Fluid Flow 3. We're confident you will enjoy using Fluid Flow 3 and appreciate you taking the time to evaluate the software. This Getting Started series of videos will introduce you to the basic concepts of piping system modelling within Fluid Flow 3 and have you modelling in no time at all. Fluid Flow 3 is a par powerful tool that allows us to take all the components that make up a modern fluid transport system, including pipes, pumps, line equipment, and heat exchangers and model them all together to gain a deep understanding of how a piping system will operate for different scenarios. We can investigate friction losses, flows, temperatures and many other parameters throughout the model. To deliver an optimized design the engineer can be confident is safe, reliable, efficient and also traceable. There are some things we can do before we begin using the software that will lead to a cleaner model with the ability to effectively communicate our design to other stakeholders involved in the project. The first decision we can make is whether to build an isometric mode or an orthogonal mode. Isometric modelling is a good choice when elevation plays an important role in the design, as shown in this model. We can see that the return line discharges into the top of the tank, while the pump suction is connected to the bottom of the tank. We can also see that the heat exchangers are located in an elevated area of the plant. Orthogonal mode can be used when elevation is not so important, or when a top-down or section view is beneficial. An orthogonal mode can be often easier to understand visually. This fire hydrant system, for example, has been modelled to match the site layout drawing, which allows all project team members to instantly recognise it. The next step is to plan how the model will look on the flow sheet. A bit of planning at this stage can avoid the need for rework later on. For example, this model, although very simple, looks cluttered and confused. Selecting individual components and pipes is difficult, and the design intent of the system isn't clear. This version, however, is much more clear. We can easily select the individual pipes between the components. We can see the logic of the directional components and the design intent is well communicated. This clarity will also assist in troubleshooting and design work as the project progresses. Our next video introduces you to the graphical user interface of Fluid Flow 3 and from there we'll get you started in building your first model.